You want to hack somebody? Get out from the video. This video is for ethical hackers and cybersecurity professionals only. Today, we're diving deep into Hydra, a powerful brute force attack tool used in Kali Linux. By the end, you'll understand how it works, how to use it, and most importantly, how to protect yourself from brute force attacks. What is Hydra? Hydra is a fast and flexible password cracking tool used for penetration testing and cybersecurity research. It supports multiple protocols and services, including SSH, Secure Shell, FTP, File Transfer Protocol, HTTP, Web Authentication, SMTP, Email Authentication, MySQL and PostgreSQL, Database Logins, RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol, Telnet and more. It is widely used by ethical hackers to test the security of systems and by cybersecurity professionals to evaluate password strength. Installing Hydra in Kali Linux To install Hydra on Kali Linux, open the terminal and run. sudo apt update and in sudo apt install Hydra Y. Once installed, check if it's working by running. Hydra H. This will display all available options and commands in Hydra. Using Hydra basic commands. The basic syntax of Hydra is Hydra L username P password underscore list target underscore IP protocol. For example, if we're testing an SSH login, Hydra L admin P passwords dot txt 192.168.11 SSH. If you need a password list file, check out my previous video on generating password lists using Python. Asterisk. Key parameters explained. L specifies the username to test. P points to a password list containing multiple passwords. Target underscore IP is the IP address or domain of the target. Protocol defines the service, e.g., SSH, FTP, HTTP. Advanced Hydra commands. Brute forcing web login forms. Hydra can be used for testing web based authentication forms. Example. Hydra L admin p passwords dot txt http colon slash slash example dot com http post form slash login dot php user equals caret user caret and pass equals caret pass caret incorrect password. This tells Hydra to try the username admin. Use passwords from passwords dot txt. Test login attempts on example dot com slash login dot php. Identify failed login attempts using the error message incorrect password. Brute forcing RDP, remote desktop protocol. For remote desktop attacks. Bash. Hydra T4 VFL users. Txt P passwords. Txt RDP forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.100. This command uses a user list L users. Txt and a password list ppasswords.txt runs with four threads t4 to speed up attacks stops once a valid login is found f displays every attempt v live demonstration asterisk asterisk now let's see hydra in action we'll attempt a brute force attack on a test machine with a weak password asterisk this section will include screen recording of running hydra commands and explaining each step Asterisk. How to protect against brute force attacks? Asterisk, asterisk. Cybersecurity isn't just about attacking, it's also about defense. Here's how to protect yourself from brute force attacks. 1. Use strong passwords, at least 12 characters with a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. 2. Enable account lockout policies. After multiple failed login attempts, lock the account temporarily. 3. Use two-factor authentication, 2FA, adds an extra layer of security beyond just a password. 4. Monitor and log authentication attempts, detect and block suspicious login attempts. 5. Use intrusion detection systems, IDS. Tools like Fail2Ban can block IPs after too many failed login attempts. Final thoughts. That's it for today. Remember, ethical hacking is for learning and security improvement not for illegal activities. Subscribe for more videos. Follow me on Instagram. I am not hacker.